How's it going everyone? Phil Your Mana here and today I am going to show you guys um something that recently came up in my new survival PvP server is cow farms. Um food has been kind of scarce on the server. So I'm just making this video so people can understand how I make a cow farm. So this one is a typical entity crammer. We have about 25 cows in there currently. Um, then we have a hopper connected to a chest right here, so all you would have to do is press this button. And right now, uh, let's do, go ahead and empty this so we can see the results. And then you bring some wheat up here, and just feed your cows like normal. Um, what would happen is, since there's 25 entities in this one block, all the new um, cows that are being bred are actually going to cause this system to overload with entities and they will start to kill off the older parents and what that does is gets us raw beef and leather without actually having to slay the cows now you do kind of miss out on some xp that you get from breeding them so you can either get super close to them or just break these blocks to do it but i just like the way um the smoothness looks uh quartzstone isn't required for the build i just like how it looks quartz stone I call it block of quartz whatever and then this next one is kind of the same we can see it still has the entity cramming section now the only difference is this actually extends into um, if we break this block right here a dispenser with lava in it so what that will do is once we press this button on the rising and falling edge of that button press it will dispense and then retract the lava um, being able to cook the cows that are being bred over there. So if we come up here, and I forgot to turn the water on. Come up here and start feeding our cows like normal. Some of them will still die in the water, which is sad loss. But you turn it off, all the baby cows uh, that can't fit in there will shoot over. Um, you can also just breed them like this, it, and they will also automatically just shoot over. At least all the cows that are born on this side will shoot over. And then all you have to do now is wait for these uh, cows to grow up. Alrighty, now that these cows are nice and fully grown, we can give this button a little flick. And we can see the cows die. All the stuff gets picked up, and we have some cooked steak. Uh, this raw beef right here was collected from uh, any dead cows that might have pushed it over once um, they died. So that's a, what's that from. You usually won't get raw beef from this. You will get the steak and the leather. And this makes it so much easier in survival when you're, you know, scared about coal resources, trying to cook this food. This is a great way just to, you know, cook them fast, get the food quick, and be out of there. Of course, you'd have to wait for them to grow up, but that is no problem. Uh, now I'm just going to show you guys how to make this first one. And um, from that, you guys can kind of understand how to make the second portion right here. Alrighty, now I will show you guys how to make this first one. What you're going to need is a block of quartz, some type of fence. You don't need quartz block, it's any building block. Um, I prefer glass, and then dispenser, button, water bucket, hopper, and a chest. So first what you're going to want to do is break out two, three areas where you want to uh, be able to collect your droppings. So you're going to put a chest right there, and then go ahead and put a hopper into it, and then go ahead and build up two high on each side, except this part right here. We're going to put our dispenser right there, and then go ahead and put the block of quartz above it throw the bucket in there and then for uh, aesthetic purposes I like to build this up like this and then go ahead and throw glass in the center and then all you need is some bricks over top fence in and then a way up now of course this is uh, kind of you know not as nice looking as that um, now the last step you all need is a button right there and now you can just press this the water will dispense you can jump up here and feed your cows and whatnot the fence is so they don't pop out and then once you're done feeding them you can drop them down and all your collectings will be in the bottom here 
Alrighty, this has been my cow farm tutorial. I hope this has helped you guys understand cow farms and how to utilize them in survival. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Leave a like, and I will see you guys later.